Hello, this is Lisa Shea, and these instructions are for folding an origami rose. You want to start with $5 bills, or five of that size, a toothpick, a pair of scissors, and some floral wire. This is going to be used to make the stem for your dollar bill rose. Here's an example of a finished one. You can see how you, I chose to put the red paper on the outside and the patterned paper on the inside, but you can choose to do it whichever way you want to, and you can keep track of that while you're going. So let's get started. This is going to be fast to fit in the time space, so you can watch it first once through and then go slowly through it to try to get the hang of this. Fold your piece of paper in half. And again, you can put the colored side on the outside or the white side on the outside. Just be sure to be consistent, whatever you choose. Open it up and we're going to take our toothpick and we're going to roll the edges of this to curl it to make the petals for our first rose layer. So you just get it caught a little on the edge of the toothpick and give it a little roll at a 45 degree angle to the paper. And you roll until you hit the center mark for the edge of the piece of paper. So you do this on the opposite side. And you see you can roll it. Now go around to the third side. And you're going to roll down the edge. If it's hard to get it started, you can wet the tip of the piece of paper and that'll help it get stuck a little bit and that'll help it roll down a little more. Again, I just want to warn you in advance that it might seem complicated when we get to all the connecting part. So watch this through first once and then try to assemble it. All right, so we fold our piece of paper again and we take out some floral wire. If I can figure out how to get the floral wire out of this thing, here we go. You can find this at Michael's or pretty much any other craft store. Let's snap it off. Now we're going to slide this through the center of the piece of paper and squish it in just a little bit. And then make a little connection at the bottom to hold it tight. So you just give a twist to the bottom of the wire. And that'll hold it in place. So you can see that this looks a little like a rose petal here. All right, that's one out of five. All right, take the second piece of paper, fold it in half, give it a nice crease. Start with your handy toothpick and roll it around the edge at a 45 degree angle. Roll the second edge. Go to the other side, rolling the edges. We're going to be doing this five times, of course, once the petals that we're forming. So you'll get to be quite good at rolling pieces of paper around the edge of a toothpick by the time you're finished with all of this. When you've got the four edges rolled, fold it back in half. Get some more of your handy floral wire. Lay it in the center of your piece of paper. Give your piece of paper a little scrunch. So it crunches down. And you'll naturally curl in one direction or the other while you're giving it this scrunch. And then twist the ends to hold it in place. I will note that the floral wire that you use ends stem for the rose, so you want to use nice long strips of floral wire if you want to have a nice long stem. Right, take your third piece of paper, fold it in half, open it up. Use your toothpick on the four corners to do the rolling of the paper. If you end up rolling too far, it's easy enough to unroll, so don't worry about rolling too far or not rolling too far. Just roll until you hit the edge. Roll the third side. And roll the fourth side. Get some floral wire. And we're gonna put it down the center of the piece of paper. Give it a little scrunch. Make it into a nice curled cup shape. And then give a twist at the bottom of the floral wire to hold it in place. All right, we're gonna start a little with the construction of the rose here. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold one of them parallel to the ground and then the other two are going to sit on either side of it. So the left side and the right side. So if you take a look at that, the one in the middle goes left to right and then the two on the left and the right go top to bottom. All right, and give these a little twist to hold these together in shape. All right, so that's the first th stuck together. Put that down. Now we're going to get the fourth piece of paper. This is probably one of the more complicated shapes that I have here. So don't feel badly if this is confusing the first time or second time through it. Just keep watching it and see how the different steps go. And then if you watch it enough times and then hold the pieces in your hand, then you can start to see how they connect together. But this is one of the only dimensional shapes where you're connecting pieces to other pieces in three dimensions. So it's going to be a little bit challenging. But with all origami, if you practice it a couple times, then you'll get the hang of it, and soon it will be second nature to you which way to hold the different pieces. So we're just doing the fourth piece of paper here. And again, you can use pieces of paper or dollar bills or bills from other countries. It doesn't really have to be an exact wrangle, rectangle of any particular proportions. It has to be generally rectangular in shape. Slide your wire through the center of the piece of paper and scrunch it in a little and then give the wire a little twist to hold it in place. Play that out. Get the final piece of paper. Fold that in half. Open it up. So the easiest way to make pieces of paper shaped like dollar bills is of course to take a dollar bill and lay it down on a piece of paper and cut around the edges. Or you can look up on the web what the actual measurements for a dollar bill are if you want to measure it out with a ruler. Again, it doesn't have to be exact because everything's going to be folded and squished as you go. So if it's off by a little left or right or not quite a square, then it really doesn't matter that much. We're gonna get our final piece of floral wire. And we're going to put the final piece down the center and do our regular little squishing. It's pretty impressive that a rose is a romantic flower in pretty much every culture. The Greeks loved roses, the Romans loved roses, English culture sings about roses, Irish culture sings about roses, the French loved roses and had rose water baths. So no matter what culture you're into, they probably adored the rose. So you start with the piece of paper rose with the two outside ones on the left and the right, and now we have two new petals on the top and the bottom. So you can see that the third and the second and third petals were on the left and right of the shape. Now our fourth and fifth petals are on the top and the bottom of the shape. And we give a twist to connect all of these wires together. And you could wrap floral tape around the outside to make it even prettier if you want. You could put on some plastic or fabric leaves if you wanted to add some leaves to this. And you can do all sorts of colors. You could do reds or you can do pinks. You could do white roses, blue roses, whatever you want. Visit lisashay.com for more origami instructions. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Tom with an M. Thank you. Bye.